Okay, so the Act 3, which in a way is <laughs> Act 2, Part 3, we should maybe call it, at the end of that, we get a moment of truth, which I think is a, a, a sort of, is quite a, an apt moment of truth. And it comes at one hour, 57 minutes, I would say. It's following the, the trial. It's the trial. Well, he's like guilty and he's released, even though his friend or prophetic trying to protect him. Yeah, he says that they give him a, a way out. They say, if you will just lie about what happened to you, we'll let you go. And he says, and he will not lie, which has been one of his overall themes. Uh, when he's a young kid, they want him to say that he's a girl in order to train him to play female roles. And he says, no, I am a boy. And the, there's a rich man who's going to give them money who wants him to say this, and he refuses. Um, and now this rich man is asking him to lie again, but in order to save his own self. And again, he refuses to lie. So the moment of truth is actually, literally, a man tells the truth instead of lying. Which they say the, the, the essence of the hero's journey, the hero is the person who tells the truth. And like every Jesus, usually gets hung for it. So we're into the act four, or the real act three. We're into the fourth act, anyway. And I put in a sort of bridge moment for this, which was just that having become an opium addict, he then recovers. But what did you get for the climax of this whole piece, the climax of the film? Well, they all give themselves away. They all tell their truth. Yeah. Tell to each other. I mean, their truth. Yeah. Well, they, they, they confess. I put the confessions in fire. They're all, they're held by the, the new Communist Party troops and they all betray each other. Yeah. So they all speak badly about each other or they, they say what's really been eating at them, but also actually the concubine does that, but the friend lies, the friend denies his own wife. So it's a climax of lies and truth. And the person who's always told the truth is our lonely, you know, love, unloved concubine. And his friend who's had more happiness is, is more prepared to lie. What is the ending of the film? How does it end? Why they perform again together and he, I guess, commits suicide? Yeah. When he realized that his friend is not able to perform anymore? Yeah, well, that's it, that's it. They, they, they seem to be performing once more. And he takes the sword and kills himself in the image of the tableau of the king and the concubine, which we see right at the start and right at the end. Because we don't actually see... Oh. Yeah, we don't actually see him killing himself. We just see the reaction. But then we cut to the drawn image, the painted image yeah. of the concubine with the cut, the knife through the, through the um, yeah. throat. So, so he dies.